Let's take a look at the Canva AI generator where you can generate your own imagery. So first, we need to go to the apps. So on the left-hand side of your Canva project, we're going to see an apps icon. We click on this, and then we can search for Canva apps. And we're going to search for Magic Media. Magic Media is Canva's app for generating AI imagery. So we see it right here. We can click on it. And then what we can do with Magic Media is describe what we want to create. Now, first, we have three tabs, images, graphics, and videos. So under images, we could enter five plus words to describe a rover on the moon. And so we can use that and press generate image at the bottom. Now we can generate a square image, a landscape, or a portrait image. I'm going to keep square selected since I have a square canvas out here. So we click generate image. I'm just going to generate our rover on the moon. And this is going to generate an image as opposed to a graphic or a video. Now you can see at the bottom that we've used one of our 499 or 500 credits, and this refreshes every month. Now if you have Canva Pro, this might be different than free. I'm not sure if you can utilize this as free since I have Canva Pro. You can try it for free in the description down below. But what we can do now is every time that we generate an image, it's going to use a credit. And so if we want maybe not so much a photorealistic image, maybe I want a rover on the moon in red watercolor, I could become more descriptive uh, with this, and then we can click Generate again. It's going to use another credit, but then we can generate another image that has a little bit more description, maybe gets a little bit closer to the look that you're going for. And here we go. We're already getting some more like sketchy watercolor type imagery, and I said red, so we're getting kind of a red planet. And so we have all these different versions that we can choose from. So I could, for instance, click on this and I could say generate more that look like this or even generate a video. Or I could click on this image and it's going to put it into my actual artwork. And so I've got this image that I can use now that was just AI generated here in Canva. Now we can click on this again. Let's see what happens when we click generate video. So we used that image and we're going to generate a video from that image. Now this will take one to two minutes to generate, but you can see that we have this video now where we have kind of like this cloud moving across the rover a little bit. Now you can actually enter in some words to describe what you want to be happening in the video. So if I want the rover to be moving or other things to be happening, I could do that. I just clicked generate video based on image. I didn't actually describe anything. So now from here, we can actually describe stuff. We can also generate graphics. So instead of an image, we could generate some kind of graphics. So I could generate maybe, uh, how about just a, a red rover on the moon graphic? And let's see what that generates as we generate the graphics as opposed to an image or even a video. You can see that it's created a couple of graphics in a clearly different style. This is more of an illustrative vector-based style. And also, here's something else. If there is some high demand, you may run into some of these error messages a little bit. So you can just try it again in a few moments. But let's use this graphic, for instance, and see what that gives us out here in our document. So you can see we actually have this, this graphic out here that's a lot more illustrative. It's a lot more uh, kind of like a vector illustration rather than an actual image. Obviously, we chose watercolor for this one. But that's kind of what you can get out of the graphics side. And I mean, this is a super powerful thing. Magic Media, which is Canva's AI generator, where you can generate AI imagery. So let's try something else. Instead of something so illustrative, let's try doing, how about we do a woman uh, facing the sun with sunglasses and a blue dress in a photorealistic style. And we're going to generate this again. So we're going to generate a completely different image this time and maybe make something. If you're looking to actually create uh, imagery, like maybe you want some kind of stock photo. Now you can see here we've got some options here, some of which are better than others. Obviously, uh, if your model here has three arms, that doesn't quite work out. Uh, but we have this one here where there's another exactly what we described, facing the sun, wearing sunglasses in a blue dress. Now we have this imagery here. So pretty interesting. You can actually generate based on any of these images as well. But the Magic Media AI generation is pretty awesome here in Canada. 
I recommend you try it out. You just click the link in the description to get over there and try to use it in some of your projects.